today I'm going to be doing a very dramatic purple eye look for you guys and I'm super excited so let's just go ahead and get right on into this tutorial. Alright, so I already did one eye off camera and I'm going to do the other eye on camera. So first off, I'm going to place my transition shade onto my crease and I'm just going to use that one right there. This is from CoverGirl's um, eyeshadow quad in the shade Shirley Nudes. What a transition shade is, is basically just a background for everything else to set on and blend on. So that way everything blends smoothly and flawlessly. Just going to blend that out just a tiny little bit. Now I'm just going to take that purple shadow right there from this e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow palette. This is just the Little Black Beauty Book. And I love this palette a lot. But I'm going to take that purple right there and I'm going to put that into my crease. Tap off just a little bit of the excess and then put this Again, I'm going to take a brush with nothing on it, and I'm just going to blend that out. So now for my lid color, I'm going to take that light purple one right there and I'm just going to place this on my eyelid. This is a light lavender kind of color and it's really, really pretty. So I'm just going to pop that on my lid. Whoop. Tap off the excess and place it right on to there. I'm not really good at colored eyeshadow looks, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to go out of the box this week, and I'm going to do something very, very different than what I normally would do on my channel. I try to incorporate a lot of diversity onto my channel, diversity onto my channel. So, we are just going to experiment this week. Now I'm going to take that dark purple one right there and I'm just going to very, very lightly tap into this and I'm going to put this onto the outer half of my crease. Just kind of going to give just a little bit of definition to the outer corner of my eyelid and my crease. Tap off excess. I really don't want this to be too, too dark. Just a little bit more on this half because I feel like I didn't put enough over here. Thank you. 
Now I'm just going to blend everything out with a brush with nothing on it. Because the key to every eye look is to always blend. And I think after this we're pretty much done. The one thing I'm going to do off camera is I am going to touch this color up on my eyelid just a little bit more because I want my lid color to pop just a little bit more. I did it with this eye as well because after you get done blending, sometimes it just kind of fades away. But other than that, the shadow is done. I have no idea what I'm going to call this look. Now we're gonna add some mascara to the tops and bottoms of my lashes. I don't think I'm gonna put on any falsies today. Although I might, you never know. It is kind of late in the afternoon and I hate wasting product. I know that's really weird. But, you know, makeup can kind of be expensive sometimes, and I just don't like wasting makeup. Unless I'm absolutely for sure, you know, that I'm going to get good long wear out of it, and I'm not just going to be putting it on and then immediately taking it off. Although, I used to be really bad about that when I was younger. My mom used to get on to me all the time because I would be, like, at night before I would go to bed, like, I would be playing and makeup and my mom will be like what are you doing you're literally going to take this off in just a couple of minutes and i was just like i'm just playing and having fun it's okay <laughs> i remember that that was so weird Alrighty, so now we are going to be putting on some bronzer y'all know which one i'm going to use because it's the only one that i own so i'm just going to quickly bronze up my face a little bit and if you hear a weird noise I am very sorry about that my mom is actually doing some cooking and some baking in the kitchen so you might hear a blender or a mixer or something and I'm really sorry about that just a little bit into my hairline all right now you're going to put on some blush and we're going to use the Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in the shade Pate. this is just a beautiful mauvey pink blush and it looks good with every makeup look I really like this a lot. I really hope Sephora's birthday gift for next year tops this one, but I don't see how in the world that it could. But you never know, companies surprise you. So now we're going to be using the e.l. highlighting palette, and I'm just going to be using the white one right there to highlight my face with. I love this palette so, so much, and it kind of Matches my nails a little bit. The packaging does. It's been a long time since I've painted my nails black. And I kind of like black nails. I always forget how much I like black nails until I paint my nails black. You know that's really weird. To be talking about nail polish when you're highlighting your face. But that's just how I roll.
I drag what's left on the center of my nose, my cupid's bow a little bit right there. So now I'm just going to be putting on my um, lip scents in the color Bombshell. This is just a beautiful nude, and this was perfect for this look because I really like doing a nude lip whenever I do a kind of crazy eye. So I already shook it off camera like you're supposed to do, so I'm just going to apply this straight to my lips. I will tell you, the more you use this, the more you're going to get used to the stinging a little bit. Because I found that since I've been using this more often, it doesn't sting as bad as it did the first time. Excuse me, I'm very sorry I just coughed on camera. It was kind of embarrassing, but... So kind of scent makes me cough because it has a very strong, like, alcohol-y scent. And sometimes it just gets to me. I have asthma. I'm really sorry. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm just going to do two layers today. You're supposed to do three, but sometimes I just like two. Just kind of fanning it off and making sure it's dry before I put the gloss on. This is what you're supposed to do. And the gloss will actually take care of the stinging. And that is it. We are done for this dramatic purple look. Alright everyone, so that was it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, which will be in the description box below. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And come be a part of this vlog. And I will see you guys on Saturday. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.